What's up guys, I'm back playing even more Pokemon Paradox. In the last episode I joined Team Aqua, but it was a buggy mess and the door wasn't even there. But look, I'm wearing the bandana, so it's official. You can tell that I'm an official member of Team Aqua by how I conduct myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. That's a tile I can stand on. Oh man. So yeah, Hoenn, I put it in. I didn't finish it. I stopped working on it. I started showing it off. It's busted. But, uh, yeah, I got a lot of kicks out of making it, and, uh, I mean, it's pretty accurate. There's a lot of accuracies in terms of, like, the tiles and the layout and the trainers and all that good stuff. A lot of the items. But I think, I think it is time for me to leave. And I think it is time for me to go explore more of the legendary time chunks. I wonder how many legendaries I can catch. And I've got a devious idea, actually. I got a plan to catch as many legendaries as possible. Let me show you. I am gonna go and recruit a secret Pokemon. I've already caught it, too. And I'm gonna use that to catch all my, my goodies. Let's heal, actually, real quick. Because it's fast to heal here. <laughs> I didn't want to go all the way into the Pokemon Center. That takes too much time, you know? That takes a minute, whereas the other one takes 10 seconds. Okay, cool. So... Back to the lab. Back to what I'm familiar with. I'm comfortable in the lab. Let's see. So that was Raikou. There is another secret here if I get all of the uh, time chunks. So that's really cool. I love just putting secrets in my games. I love secrets. It's so good. Like, this one will only open up if you've gotten all of the time crystals and you've beaten all of the game, like, up to Mount Silver. And this one will only open if you've gotten all the time chunks. There's a lot of friggin' time chunks. So let's go try to track them down right now. Um, I need to do almost like a count and see which ones I have. Although one thing I know that I can do... Oh yeah, let's uh, let's start working on our Pokemon right now, actually. Boop, boop, boop. What should be access? Let's go to Bill's PC. I need to move my Pokemon around and get a Pokemon specifically for catching. The question is, who do I get rid of? I think I need to keep Squirt for Surf and Waterfall. I need to keep Picos for Thunder Wave. Camero for Camero. Draco for Draco. My guy is my guy. Tuffy is Tuffy. I might need to get rid of Draco. Sorry, Draco. You're a strong boy and you're a good boy. But you're not the boy that I need at this point. What I need is Arceus or Arceus or however you want to pronounce it. I pronounce it... I murdered it when I caught the Pokemon. And when I say murdered it, I mean I murdered the pronunciation, okay? I cannot pronounce that Pokemon's name to save my god dang life. If somebody held up a gun to me and said, how do you pronounce A-R-C-E-U-S? I'd be like, R-C, Arky, uh, uh. <laughs> then I think I would just die. But I'm gonna teach this boy false swat. He can't learn it! Well, there goes my plan. I need to teach false swipe to somebody. How am I gonna, how am I gonna catch all the legendaries if I don't have false swipe and thunder wave? What am I gonna do? Who am I gonna, who am I? What am I? Oh man, who can learn it? Can Frendo learn it? Can Palco Leone learn it? Can Blaziken, Sceptile, or Swampert learn it? Can Mewtwo learn it? I'm gonna go out and guess that Frendo can. Let's take a gamble on Frendo. I mean, I took a gamble on Arceus, 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 <laughs> and it didn't work. Who can learn False Swipe? That's important to me. This is very important. Teach it? Yeah. Teach it to Frendo? No. Oh man. They should uh They should implement a feature that allows you to check the PC and see how many like who in the PC can learn a specific move. That is something that I would love. Like who in my PC can learn false swipe? Like filter out by who can learn a TM. It'd be crazy and ridiculous to implement. But uh oh my god, I would love it. Can Draco learn it? Maybe I've been sleeping on Draco. I mean, I feel really stupid if I got rid of Draco and it turns out that Draco was the key. Maybe he's the one who could learn it all along. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. He can! I guess I do feel stupid now. So I can get rid of Earthquake or Dragon Tail because those are also TMs. Um, I'll get rid of Guillotine, actually. I don't really want to be one-shotting it. I don't, I don't like Guillotine. It's 30 accuracy. I'm probably never going to use it. Cool. So, our plan is almost complete. It is almost complete. All I need to do now is teach Flash to somebody. I might have to teach it to Picos. Because lowering their accuracy is very important also for this plan. 
I'm not teaching it to my guy, although I could teach it to my guy and get rid of Psybeam. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I mean, I already have Psychic. I don't really ever use Psybeam because I already have Psychic, so I'll get rid of Psybeam. So, I, the plan should be Thunder Wave everything, or Flash everything, and then False Swipe everything. Cool. I think we're just about ready to start catching all the god dang legendaries. I'm gonna catch them all. Oh yeah, don't I still have a ton of money from when I went to the cave? I do. That was so awesome, getting all of the, uh, all of the, uh, treasures. I can buy... How many... Am I allowed to... Oh my gosh, I'm allowed to buy that many? Yeah? Ching, baby. <laughs> That's a lot of friggin' Ultra Balls. Let me uh, save also, because I think I'm just about ready to start kicking butt and catching all the legendaries. Maybe I'll start with Articuno and just work my way up. But let's see, like, how many friggin... They let me carry that many Ultra Balls? Where are they? Am I blind? Please tell me I'm not blind. They must be in the other bag. There we go. 152. Wow. Cool. Let's start exploring some time chunks. I have 10. I think that's 10 out of 16. That's really good if each time chunk... Yeah, each row is only 4. I have 10 out of 16. I'm only missing 6. And there's 1 in the frozen. I think we can do this. I absolutely think we can get all the time chunks. Once I have all of them, I think I just need to go to the, the hidden sequence... And then I need to go to the dimensional plane, and then I'll have beaten everything. So we're getting close. I guess I might as well, uh, I might as well explore all I can. Let me do a little dance. Cool. I'm excited again. I was kind of actually getting a little bit down when I was going through Hoenn. I was like, man, this is all just a buggy mess. Why am I even here? But now I'm, uh, now I'm, now I'm excited again. Let's, uh, let's 100% this. Or at least get all those legendaries. Cool. So here's Articuno. We'll do the uh, ceremonial save before legendary. If you don't save before a legendary encounter, you're either unlucky and didn't know the legendary encounter was about to happen, or you're a fool. Or you could just be doing it for swag. I mean, if you have a master ball, sure. I always save, though. But when I was a kid, I didn't save, and I felt like such an idiot for not saving. Like, one of my friends, it was my friend's mom, actually. She was like, yeah, I just save before all the legendaries, and if I don't catch it, I can just reload the save. I was like, you can do that? That's genius. All right. So my guy needs to flash Articuno, which... Th this is the only context that that sentence works or is okay. I want my guy to flash you. You know, it's like... Ah, don't say that one at work now. That's a no-no-no. Took aim at my guy. Well, you're going to need to take better aim because I'm going to blind those eyes. I'm going to blind you, baby. I'm gonna flash you till you're blind. Like, doesn't that just sound bad? That just sounds inappropriate. Inappropriate. Alright, his accuracy's gotta be getting pretty goddamn low now. Unfortunately, he has Mind Reader, which almost negates the accuracy loss. And he's, yeah, he's using it like crazy now. But one more round to do it. Ice Shard is a good move. Ow. At least it didn't do much damage. Cool. I don't think I need to do flash anymore, because five, I think, is as low as it goes. I could try it again. Oh, six? Is six as low as it goes? How low is that accuracy going to be? Uh-oh, he's getting fast. What we got here is a speedy boy. A uh, mm, speedy boy. Okay, cool. His accuracy won't go any lower. Nice. So six is as low as it goes. Now I know. I thought it was five all this time. It's six. How much do I know about Pokemon? Not very much. Nah, I know a decent amount. But I've said it before, you can quote me on it. I'm better at making Pokemon games than I am at playing them. So I'm trying to alleviate that by playing the games I make, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm getting better at playing Pokemon games, you know? I'm getting a little bit better. A lot of it's luck, though. Like, you, you, you thunder and then thunder misses. That's not you being bad at Pokemon, that's just... You know, flipping a coin and it landing on the wrong side, you know? Rolling a dice. You can't be good or bad at rolling a dice. I mean, maybe you can. I don't know. I can certainly be bad at it. Alright. The stars are all aligned. 
It is catching time. Actually, no, the stars are almost all aligned. I'm gonna want to Swords Dance, I guess. Ah, I mean, I'm 23 levels higher. I probably don't need to Swords Dance. Cool. I just hope I don't get hit by any ice moves now. But, uh, the false swipes. Why is the PP only five? Oh no. I'm not gonna get very many false swipes in because of the pressure. Okay. You know what that means? I need to Swords Dance a couple times and boost my attack by a lot. Yeah, the PP's only five because Guillotine is what I replaced, so... Yikes. I mean, it wouldn't be a problem... ...if I didn't, like, if I learned False Swipe and then healed. But I didn't. Oh no, Ice Shard. Uh-oh. Super effective. But, yeah, it's 20 levels beneath me. Alright, I'm boosting up. I'm boosting. Okay, I'm gonna do one more boost. This False Swipe should take you down to one health. All right, here comes, the, here comes the super boosted attack. Since I'm raising sharply, that should be six levels of attack now. Right on. Yeah, three sword stances. You are gonna be caught whether you like it or not. Here we go. False swipe. There it is, one HP. So he's one HP, he's paralyzed. Now it's time for the Ultra Balls to start, start flying. Hiya! Let's see how many times, like, how many bulk throws does it take for me to catch Articuno? Oh? It only takes one when you've got my super awesome strategy, which is lower accuracy, paralyze, false swipe. I mean, it's, uh, I would love to put them all on one Pokemon, but I've just got it spread out across three. It's all gonna work, though. It's all gonna work. I don't need to name them. Cool. That's one legendary caught in our legendary capturing, uh, spree. I kind of feel like that guy in uh, the second Pokemon movie, the Pokemon 2000 or whatever, the one who captures the Articuno and the Zapdos and the Moltres to get Lugia. I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but Lugia is certainly in this game. He's most certainly in this video game. Let's, uh, what do I want? I want to heal. Cool. Why did the music stop? It's weird. Sometimes when I want when I run away from battles really quickly, the the music for the map doesn't continue. Oh well. Cool. So I one thing that I do need to do though is I need to explore more of this place. Because there is another time chunk here. I can't believe I forgot the name of Seafoam Islands. The reason I said this place is because I actually forgot. <laughs> I was like, what is this ice place called? It's Seafoam Islands. Duh. A dir. You ever played Pokemon before? No. Look, it's a strength puzzle. Oh, but we can't go over there. There's rocks blocking the path. At least it's rocks and not, uh, friggin' more time temporal chunks blocking the path. But yeah, look, here's another hidden time chunk. What do we got? Silver time chunk. <gasps> Speak of the devil! Didn't I say I would catch Lugia? Well, there he is. Well, there he is. Is there anything down here? Nope. Cool. Seafoam Islands complete. Let's go to the next time chunk. We're going back. What do you need? Return. I really like this legendary capturing uh, spree. It's pretty fun. Cha-ching. I'm back. <laughs> and, and I'm gone. I have 11 time chunks now. Let's let's complete row one before we move on. I th I've already got the ominous one too. That one was uh that one was Mewtwo. So the molten chunk should be next, which if logic stands, that should be Moltres. Initiating warp now. Zoink. Here I am. Interesting. It appears that this time chunk has taken you to Victory Road. Good luck, Blue. Watch out for strong trainers and keep an eye out for rare Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> can do. An ether. Oh, well, there you go. I'm, it's, I'm already off to a good start. What do you need? I'm gonna heal, just in case. You know I like to heal. Yes. So notice the portals are different when you go to a chunk. That's because they're more serious, so they're purple. Because <laughs> for some reason, purple implies more serious. I don't know. I just made them look cooler. They're, they're a chunk portal. Oh. Only the strongest trainers can make it through Victory Road. <laughs> All right, well, uh, what are you doing here then, huh? If only the strongest trainers can make it, then what are you doing here? What level are you even? 40! <laughs> you got 
Man, look at man, <laughs> man, look at this guy. Man, you're gonna come at me with level 40 talking all that shit? No. I'm not about that one bit. Talking that shit. I ain't about a one bit. You're gonna get hit. Bop bop. Cool. Level 64 too. Nintendo 64. I love that video. I haven't seen that video in years. Now that I think about it. Extreme speed. Oh. Oh yes. Oh yes. We shall learn that. There's only five PP on extreme speed. Oh. This attack always goes before any other move, unless they both do extreme speed, in which case it's determined by the speed stat. God dang. God dang, that's a good move. Manectric. I'm gonna bet that you're level 40 also. Okay, level 41. Close enough. So I'm just gonna sit back and sidekick and everything is gonna be great, okay? It's gonna be great. I love to, I, I missed talking shit while my guy was out. I haven't played Paradox in a while. So now that I'm back playing it, and I got Alakazam out here, I'm feeling feisty, you know? I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like making fun of them. And they're just NPCs. I'm making fun of NPC trainers with a Pokemon. Like, like you wanna put it all in perspective. It's pretty goddamn nerdy. It's fun. It's definitely fun. But uh, yeah, I'm just going, I'm, I'm popping off on these stupid computers. It's actually kind of sad. But, uh, he's actually kind of bad, so, you know, it all works out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, the battle's over. A thank you. A thank you very much. I'm leveling up, though, so it's all worth. You're in this victory. What's that? I can't hear you through the sandstorm. Just imagine it's like... You earned this victory. You earned this victory. Thank you, I stranger. Oh, look, it's a man. Running. In, a in an L shape. You know why he's running in an L shape? Because he's uh, he's gonna hold an L in two seconds. Oh look, it's a Moltres over there. I'm looking to battle some of the best trainers here. Well, <laughs> you're in luck. Because uh, I am the best trainer here. So, you know. You know, you're in you're in good hands. Another Manectric at level 41, huh? Why does he also have a Manectric at 41? If anything, this should be 42, because this guy only has two Pokemon. Oh well. Balancing a lot of wild Pokemon aren't my strongest, isn't my strongest suit, you know? Oh well though. It's fine. It's about to send in a Seismitoad. Ooh. Look at this big, look at his big butt head. Or are those nipples on his forehead? I don't know. They look like those, uh, you ever get those uh, earbuds that have like the little like black squishy bit at the end and you put them into your ear? He looks like he has those all over his body, like he has an earbud body. That was a great battle. <laughs> well, yeah, let me look up great in the dictionary and get back to you on that one. Um, What's going on over here? Oh, cool, I can just skip that guy. I want to go catch my Moltres. Ooh, an item. Flamethrower. Oh, didn't I already buy Flamethrower? Do I already have Flamethrower? Do I? Do I? Did I not have Flamethrower? That's a good... That's a really good TM. I had Flame Charge. Did I never have Flamethrower? Huh. Should I teach that to somebody? I feel like I should. A lot of people can learn, oh no, not a lot of people can learn it actually, just Camro. I mean, I could replace Payback Flamethrower. That'd be pretty interesting. Have a Tyranitar just breathing fire on you. I'm skipping all these people. I wanna go get Moltres. It's a big boulder, but a Pokemon may be able to push it. Oh no, do I not have strength? Oh no! I got rid of my strength! Oh no! I'm all the way over here and I don't have anybody who can push it. Oh man. Oh jeez. What do I do about this? Who learns it? Do I teach it to Camaro? Do I teach it to Picos? I might have to teach it to Picos and just get rid of Quick Attack. Yes. Sorry, Picos. I mean, I don't really use you very much anymore, and I already have extreme speed on Tuffy. I mean, Quick Attack is really good, but I gotta get Moltres, man. I gotta catch this boy. Let's go catch that boy right now. And I'm not gonna end this episode until I've caught it. I'm gonna make that very clear. If this episode needs to be 25 minutes or longer, so be it. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna catch it. Okay, so this time I'm gonna change up my strat. This time I'm going to, since it's a Moltres and it's fire into dragon, 
I'm gonna lead with the Thunder Wave and then just go straight into Draco. That's the plan, to catch this Moltres fast. You are mine, Moltres. I shall catch you, and it will be awesome, and we will be best friends, and I will pet your flaming head, and I will burn my hand off in the name of friendship. I like, I actually really like the fire effects on its tail. Does that look really nice, actually? Look at that. That's a very nicely animated fire. Ah, yes. <laughs> and now that it's moving at double speed, I mean, sorry, not double. Now that it's moving at half the speed, the exact opposite of what I just said, um, it doesn't look as nice. It doesn't look as nice. Oh, well. It'll all be okay. Yes. You cannot move. But I can. Let's see. Let me just sword stance once and then uh, false swipe. I'm glad that he keeps on using endure. He knows what's coming. It, it's prepared. Okay. So with just one attack sharp boost, let's see how much damage false swipe does. Kia. Oh, that's plenty. Oh, that that's plenty. One more false swipe ought to do it. False swipe is such a cool move. I'm really glad that they added false swipe. It's smart. You know I gotta get you to 1 HP. And now that you're at 1 HP, you know I gotta throw an Ultra Ball at you. Okay, first try. First try, fingers crossed. Do we get it? Oh? Oh? Oh, we don't. Dang it. I wanted to get it on my first try, because Articuno was. That's fine, though. I mean, that was pretty good for the first ball. I mean... This is about as optimal as you can get for catching a Pokemon. He has a status condition. He's at 1 HP. I'm just going to keep chucking the Ultras, and it's going to work out eventually. That actually was not that great, though. The second ball throw was worse. Oh no, I've been hit by a move. Don't get all the stat boosts. Cool. I hate it when a Pokemon, or when you're fighting somebody, and they get all the stat boosts from Ancient Power, because it's like... It's inconvenient. It takes a lot of time, actually, for all the stat boosts to apply. But, uh... I think it's all gonna be fine. Call Ultra Ball. Hiya! Oh! This is getting worse. What the heck? Moltres, why are you being a pain? I thought you were gonna be cool. I thought we were gonna be best friends. But right now, we're, we're not best friends. We're not besties. Come on! How many Ultra Balls is it gonna take? Oh no! I got like an annoying uh, Windows pop-up that said something about installing updates. Really inconvenient timing, Windows. Why would you do that? Oh well, let's get him in the Ultra Ball. Come on, baby. Ah! Oh, do I need to lower his stats more or something? Did the flash actually have a good effect on me catching him when I lowered his accuracy? Or did I just get really lucky? Am I just getting really unlucky now? Maybe I do need to switch to my guy and flash him a couple times. <laughs> I think I, I think I'm gonna do that. This is stupid. Come on, dude, get in the ball already. Get in the ball already, laddie. Don't you want, don't you want my help? I mean, even if he does attack me, it's not gonna do too much damage. I definitely need to get some water after this episode is over. I am friggin' parched. Ugh. Oh no, a flamethrower. That's, uh... That's actually pretty good damage. All things considered. Uh, flash him. <laughs> that actually kind of scared me, the little paralyzing... Uh-huh. There we go. Now your accuracy is lowered. Friggin', why aren't you getting in the Ultra Ball already? God. Come on, man. Throw me a bone here. Throw me a ball here. Cooperate with me. What's the dealio, Moltres? What's the gosh dang dealio? Hmm. Hopefully the other oh, um, legendaries don't give me so much of a, a struggle. Because there's still a lot of legendaries for me to catch. There's still a friggin' lot to hunt down. Um, I mean, what we could do is make a tier list of Pokemon who are a pain in the ass. Moltres right now is number one. At least on my, uh, like, post-game journey for catching legendaries. Articuno is, like, bottom of the list for pain in the ass. It is not, it, is, it wasn't a pain at all. Moltres, though, why won't he... Come on, man. 
Get on the, get on the fucking ball already, dude. Come on. Why you gotta be this way? What else could I do? His... His... His health won't go any lower. I can't really inflict a new status condition on him unless I want him to put him to sleep, but I don't really have any moves to do that. I could just cross my fingers and twiddle my thumbs and keep on chucking Ultra Balls. I do have over a hundred still. So, you know, I'm not going anywhere. I just hope he doesn't uh, start struggling. Come on, baby. Get the ball. Get in there. Come on now. Don't be that way, Moltres. Come on. Don't do this to me. Please. I will feed you a Pokemon, a Poke Snack. <laughs> I'm gonna feed him a whole Pokemon. You can eat, uh, you can eat the egg that I have in the uh, PC. How's that sound? You can eat, uh, some puffins, some poffins, I don't know. Get. In. The. Fucking ball! I said I wasn't gonna end this episode, and this is gonna end up uh, biting me in the butt. How hard could it be? How, how many Pokeballs could it take? It shouldn't take too many. After all, Articuno was a cinch. That was easy. Well, Moltres decided to be an asshole. Aha! Finally, no move for you. Alright, can the Ultra Ball right? Let's uh, let's not do this anymore, Moltres. I gotta I gotta gotta go I gotta go get some water. This Moltres is parching me. Come on, Moltres. I mean, I'm not gonna get go up and get that water until this episode's done. We're getting there. But I'm gonna need you to cooperate. I'm gonna need you to work with me. I'm gonna need you to sit down and get in the Ultra Ball. Fuck! Come on! Do it! He's gotta be running low on PP now. Unless Agility has a lot. Does Agility have 20? That's another thing that's great about Paralyzing Wild Pokemon. When they don't act and they're paralyzed, it saves them PP so they won't struggle. Fuck! Ugh! It was so close. It was so close. <laughs> I'm gonna flash him one more time for the sixth. This has been the sixth flash to lower your accuracy already, mister. What's the big idea? How many PP does Ancient Power have? Friggin' he killed my guy and he got the stat boosts. Oh my god. He's taking so long. He's wasting my time. Okay, one thing I have to be certain to not do is throw out Tyranitar. I cannot throw out Tyranitar under any circumstances because the friggin' Sandstorm is gonna kill him. That's a no-no. That's a bad. Oh boy. Let's uh, throw another Ultra Ball. Hey, get in the ball, baby. I must have thrown like 20 at this piece of crap by now. I mean, I could buy 20 more. I could buy 200 more. I might even be able to buy 2,000 more. But, uh... We're getting down to the... Down to Moltres' wire here. We're getting down to my wire, too. It's gonna be a 30-minute episode? God dang. It's just me angrily yelling at a Moltres. <laughs> That's all this is. <laughs> you stupid bird. You stupid dog. You made me look bad. Booga booga booga. Stupid dog. Stupid bird. Stupid Moltres, you made me look bad. Booga booga booga. Fuck. What can I do to catch you? Do I need to buy any, like, better Pokeballs? I wish I could buy Timer Balls. A Timer Ball right now would be great. Oh, if I could buy Dusk Balls. Oh. That's what I should have done. Should have put Dusk Balls in this game. Finally! Yes! It finally worked! As I started complaining about Dusk Balls, just, just the mention of Dusk Ball was enough to make it work. That's how powerful Dusk Balls are. You don't even need them in your game. You just say the word Dusk Ball, and then you catch them. It's that great. It's gonna be that easy. I should've named him Ass Hat. Yay! Thank y'all for watching this episode. In the next episode, I'm gonna go and catch more Legendaries. I'll see you there. Bye-bye now.